Hello, everybody. I'm Mel Dore, the Aloha Shirt Psychic. <clears throat> got a little bit of a scratchy throat and a, a cold. Um, we just got back from Europe. We had, uh, I think, 41 people on the tour. Uh, we had a great time, except some people, you know, came down with cold. Some people, when we got home, got sick. But um, the weather was not our friend. Uh, it just simply wasn't. Uh, we had a nice day in Amsterdam, but then from there, and when we went to Kochum in Germany, or Kochum, uh, into um, Reichsburg Castle, that day was pretty decent. Uh, one nice day in Lucerne. I just love Switzerland. It's so beautiful. Uh, a group of us went to the top of Mount Pilatus in Switzerland. There was snow up there. So we went from like 81 degree weather in um, Amsterdam to snow on top of Mount Pilatus in Lucerne, Switzerland. But mostly the weather was rainy. Uh, I was sick on the trip. I would put my smiley face on and get up in the mornings and go to um, on the on the tours. <clears throat> and then in the afternoons, I would go to bed. And I missed a few nights of entertainment in the lounge. People ask if I do... Uh, seminars and lectures and readings on my trips? And the answer is no. Psychic Adventure Tours was the name of my company and it still is. I'll change it. There's just so many people and just not enough time to do all of that. But what I do is offer half hour free sessions, uh, good for one year to my travelers when we get back. So those who went on this trip are entitled to a half hour free session. It's good for one year. Don't everybody please call it one time. Uh, anyway, so play by play was kind of Amsterdam was wonderful. I love Amsterdam. I just love Europe. I love I love life. But anyway, coming down um, when we got to, uh, I think it was Cologne, we were in a deluge. It was just torrential rains. <clears throat> but we found this little German. There was a group of us that found this little nice German restaurant. We had Schweinehaxe and all the German food where your arteries are just screaming. Uh, it was really good. The sauerkraut was to die for. I love sauerkraut. So anyway, uh, for the, that was Cologne. And then in Heidelberg, uh, it was really rainy and I was feeling really bad on Heidelberg. And I said, guys, I just can't walk. I've got to find an apothecary. So we did. I got some good German cold medicine. And then uh, in Strasbourg, France, there was a hailstorm. We got caught in that. And um, uh, Lake Lucerne, it rained the first day. The next day, it was all right. Then we came home. <clears throat> but I want to thank all of my travelers. Uh, I hope everybody had a good time. I know there were a few people who were sick and just had to stay in their cabins. And that happens sometimes on trips. I think some people tested positive for COVID when we got home. Uh, but most importantly, you know, other than missed luggage and I'm putting out a lot of fires and being pulled by a million directions at once, it went pretty smoothly. Uh, so I want to thank my travelers. Uh, it's you all who make the trips welcome. Um, I do want to mention briefly that while I was gone, we had three cancellations for our Chicago event and it's coming next week. Uh, <clears throat> so because we had the three cancellations that opened it for three people and we've gone down the list and I don't know who's coming as far as those three, you know, those three openings, but if you want to come, I know it's last minute. I understand that. But if you live close by or if you want to come, please call my office at 847-590-5411. Again, call my office at 847-590-5411. We only have room for three more people only because we did get three cancellations. If you cancel within a week of the event, unfortunately, we'll have to prorate it. Those people who cancel will get their money back. If you cancel from this point forward, we will prorate it because everything's paid. And so that's why we'd have to prorate the refund. So at any rate, uh, if you want to come, I do have openings for Peru. I have openings for Iceland of next year and a few on the Italian Riviera, Riviera uh, cruise in May. 
but for our Chicago event, it's going to be next week. I'm so excited. Uh, if you're interested, three openings. Uh, I spoke with Linda Grindle this morning, and rather than talk about politics, what I do want to do is talk about climate change, because we saw the events of that when we were in Europe. I mean, it rained every day, and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about just a normal rain. I'm talking about torrential rains. Um, for example, in Cologne, or Cologne, we had umbrellas, but it didn't matter. We were just wet. That's why you should always take clothes that dry out really quickly when you're traveling. Um, and I think what's going to happen is we're going to see a lot more increases in flooding fires because of the dry. Portugal, as we speak, is... Please, everybody send prayers for Portugal because, as Linda Grindle would say, it's an Armageddon there. Uh, <clears throat> there's been more than five times the average rainfall for the whole of September uh, for Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland, Romania, Slovakia. 22 people in four countries have been killed by flooding. Uh, the Danube, Kampf, and I think it's Trays and Rivers overflowed their banks, leading to flooding. There's flooding in Poland. And as I said, these wildfires in Portugal are really bad. You know, my feeling is Kamala is going to win hands down by a landslide. Yay. And she will do something about climate change. So what concerns me more than politics is anything, and I've said this all along, is we must, must, must do something about climate change. You know, it's funny, the ultra right wing politicians in many countries, uh, they use it as a key point of attack, that there's no climate change, that blah, 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 blah. Uh, and there is. All you got to do is look outside. Europe is the fastest warming continent globally. In 1980s, there was approximately $8 billion of damage done to inclement weather. In 2022, it was 50 billion euros per year because of inclement weather and climate. So for these ultra right-wing politicians, I say to them, do you care about your children, your grandchildren? Step outside. They just want to engage in conspiracy theories to divert, deceive, to attract, uh, and to wag the dog so they can get themselves in power. And what did Donald Trump and his cronies do about climate change? Not a GD thing. Nothing. So we must get busy. I asked my guides, uh, what about climate change? And they show me a scale that's tipped, but it hasn't tipped to the point uh, of no return, we can still bring it back a little bit. If we don't do something, then as Linda Grindle would say, it's going to be an Armageddon climate-wise. Uh, and I am not, I am not a doomsday person, but we really have to get this under control. This is going to be a record year for fires, flooding, uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, and wait until next year, it's going to get even worse. And it's going to get to a point where people, citizens of the world, even in India, the heat waves all over, where citizens of the world are going to stand up and say, wait a minute, we want our politicians, our countries to do something about climate change. Screw the xenophobia, screw all the conspiracy theories, we need to do something. And I'm sure there's going to be conspiracy theories at the yin yang. So it's still not too late. If we wait four or five years, then it might be. But my guides tell me that countries will have meetings. They'll, uh, they'll have uh, most countries of the world will participate and come up with ideas about how to curb climate change. So I don't see it tipping to the point of Armageddon, but very close. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody. This is a short film today, but if you don't believe in climate change, I saw it firsthand in Europe. I could never remember when there was that much rain in a short time, but it went from Amsterdam all the way down through Germany, France, and into Switzerland. And 
it was funny. Normally Mount Pilatus in, in Lucerne, it's beautiful. Normally there are not white caps this time of year on top of the mountain, but it snowed up there. And so the cogwheel train couldn't get through because they had to try to clean the snow off the tracks. So it's affecting every, all those four countries. I mean, the rain just did not let up and it was unseasonably cool. I understand it's been really rainy in Great Britain, but let's send our prayers out to the people of Portugal. And let's write to our politicians telling them that we demand something be done about climate change here and abroad. All right, I'll come on later. I'm excited about our uh, event next week. We do have three openings. So if you're interested, call 847-590-5411. Thank you. And I'll be on, uh, I'm not going to do my show tomorrow night with Kevin and I'm going to have to cancel some shows this week because I'm still not feeling up to snuff. I just wanted to come on and let everybody know I'm back and uh, <clears throat> um, I'm hanging in there. All right. Stay well. I look forward to seeing you in Chicago and uh, um, let's do our job and speak up. Aloha and namaste.